Temperatures have been cool, but the political heat is on the rise. In Maine, one of the hottest issues involves union votes and the Employee Freedom of Choice Act. But what is this controversy all about, and why all of the national attention here? New Center's Tim Goff reports. Susan Collins says keep the secret ballot for union You can't miss the TV ads. The lady's a hero. I hate heroes. They're everywhere. They're being funded by groups from outside Maine, and the message from both sides of the issue is mixed. This bill looks to strip away the secret ballot election and replace it with a card check system. The Employee Free Choice Act would not take away the secret ballot, which is a lie that's going around in these, in the act. So what does the Employee Freedom of Choice Act do? I talked to a University of Southern Maine professor to find out. It does not get rid of the secret ballot. What it does is it offers an alternative to the secret ballot. So the ads would maybe be more uh, meaningful. If the guy from The Sopranos was talking about how, ah, why would you want a secret ballot? We can do this other thing. It's easier. Problem solved. Stop the lies! Groups for and against the act gathered in Monument Square to get their message out. These demonstrators support Tom Allen, who is in favor of the bill. They feel the ads are an attack on Allen and on unions. A lot of people think that if this law does pass, they're losing some of their civil liberties in this country, which is not the case. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce is sponsoring a bus tour of the country to fight passage of the act. It's a major rewrite of labor law, but most people in the country don't know anything about it. So we think that's the most important thing, is not to talk about who ought to win and who ought to lose, but to talk about this particular bill and why we think it's harmful. Regardless of your position on the act, Professor Schmidt says these ads and visits by national groups show how significant Maine's U.S. Senate race is to the country. I wouldn't say we should be flattered, uh, but I would say this is a really good way for us to be reminded of the fact that the election in Maine really matters. And as November inches closer, he expects Maine to continue to receive a lot of attention. In Portland, Tim Goff, News Center. Professor Schmidt says Maine is one of six states seeing these ads. They're airing in so-called battleground states where the race for a Senate seat is seen as competitive by the national party.